The SLS Casino Scam, a Department of Homeland Security's Inspector General's report released in March 2015 reveals another of Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid's incestuous abuses of political office. In 2012 and 2013, Reid forced the Department of Homeland Security to benefit his political allies and family by pressuring a DHS official to override departmental procedures and rush 230 EB-5 foreign visa applications. This freed up $115 million of foreigners had invested in the SLS Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas. The owner of the SLS project had hired Reed's son, Rory, to provide legal representation. It is essentially a pay-to-play immigration visa scam. The IG report found, quote, at the request of Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid, DHS Deputy Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas intervened to allow expedited review of investor petitions involved in funding the SLS Casino, despite the career staff's original decision not to do so. Mayorkas pressured staff to expedite the review and also took the extraordinary step of requiring staff to brief Senator Reid's staff on a weekly basis for several months." Unquote. Stockbridge SBE Holdings, a San Francisco real estate investment firm, had purchased the Sahara Hotel and Casino in 2007 for an estimated $300 million. In 2011, the company closed the old Sahara to refurbish the property and build a new hotel, dependent on sufficient financing. That financing depended on obtaining foreign financing, essentially from shady foreign investors looking to buy U.S. citizenship through the EB-5 visa program. As financing ran into deadlines in 2012, Stockbridge hired Rory Reed to represent them as it converted the old Sahara Hotel into the new SLS Hotel and Casino for opening in 2014. Rory Reed's law firm, Lionel Sawyer and Collins, described Rory Reed's important role advising the owners of the SLS Casino in its 2012 year-end review. Quote, when Sam Nazarian, CEO of Stockbridge SBE Holdings and SBE Entertainment, one of the most creative entrepreneurs in the hospitality industry, turned his sights on Las Vegas, he recognized the opportunity to revitalize a former strip iconic property into a new exciting resort and the benefit of working with Rory Reed of Lionel Sawyer and Collins. Mr. Reed's previous experience as chairman of the Clark County Commission is put to good use assisting with general legal advice for the project and helping navigate through the maze of regulations required to access economic incentives offered on the state and local levels. Rory Reed's representation of SBE Entertainment in 2012 and 2013 dovetails with his father, Senator Reed's pressure on the DHS to expedite the critical EB-5 visa processing needed to finance the SLS project. Stockbridge SBE Holdings announced a $415 million financing plan in April 2012 to fund the refurbishment of the Sahara and the building of the new SLS Hotel and Casino. Financing was built on a $300 million first lien loan and a $115 million junior debt instrument drawn from investments by 230 foreign investors who would secure green cards to allow them to stay in America under the EB-5 visa program. Investors in the $300 million first lien loan were protected in case of default by being in first lien position and received an aggressive interest rate. $115 million of junior debt raised from foreign investors promised EB-5 visas would be held in escrow. No money could be spent building the new SLS casino until the $115 million in EB-5 visa junior debt was raised by February 2013. This is why Rory Reed's involvement was so important. Without his father, Senator Reed's pressure on the DHS, the whole project would have failed. Even more damning is that just as Sam Nazarian was about to receive his license in December 2014 to run the SLS casino, he was ready to be rejected by the Nevada Gaming Commission. Investigators had unearthed recent cocaine use, along with about $3 million in payments to a felon with convictions for drug possession and money laundering. Nazarian confirmed to gaming commissioners he paid Los Angeles car customizer and two-time felon Derek Smokey Armstrong and two associates, 
Death Row Records founder Marion Suge Knight and convicted racketeer Hai Wak Nin more than $3 million in payments. Nazarian called blackmail money. Somehow these unsavory connections were made to disappear with contrite promises by Nazarian to turn over a new leaf. Later in March of 2015, Harry Reid decried those who had tried to stop the Nazarian project. Quote, Listen, the Homeland Security report came from a bunch of whiners at the Department of Homeland Security. They felt, I guess, they weren't included in my conversations. Maybe I should have called them, unquote. The Immigration and Customs Enforcement agent working this case, Taylor Johnson, had this to say on her GoFundMe page after she was fired for whistleblowing on the Harry Reid, Rory Reid visa scam. Quote, in 2013, I blew the whistle on high-level agency officials and politicians who jeopardized the security of our country for their own personal gain. The core of my whistleblower disclosures revolved around the agency's preferential treatment of Chinese, Middle Eastern, and other foreign nationals from terrorist countries of interest. I am the agent who was investigating the SLS Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada under DHS's EB-5 visa program, Green Card for Cash until high-ranking U.S. CIS directors and Senator Reid's office made threats of congressional complaints to my local management, unquote. Taylor Johnson eventually won her lawsuit for unfair dismissal, a firing which could only happen because of Harry Reid's enormous power to hide corruption. She believes many of the EB-5 visa holders were foreign mobsters, again showing how deep the racketeering influence Reid has that was all hushed up. Acidic comments from the Inspector General's report support Johnson's view that Senator Reid's actions were inappropriate, even criminal. The usual investigations were done, but once again, Reid escaped untouched as the whitewash continued.